What is going on guys? Welcome back. Another episode of Creating a Legacy with FC United Manchester and I am loving this series. This is season 6 and um, every single season is getting more exciting. Every single season I'm looking forward to bringing you episodes. We've had the rough patches, we've had the good patches, we've had highs, we've had lows, we've had medium things. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of rambling. Um, let's get in and show you what's been happening with the Eagle Eyed viewer. We'll see at the top of the screen. We're in the 24th of October and we are top of the league. Top of the league. We are top of the league. Okay, I'll stop singing now. Yes. Okay. So, after the acronym, who are they, turned us over. So maybe the who are they comment doesn't really go to... Well, after we've just lost to them. Yeah, moving on. Um, we played Wrexham and we tore them a new butthole. Um, wow. Honestly, I didn't expect it. Um, I went in, I tried to make sure we were solid after conceding in the last few games. And wow, we were awesome. And we followed that up going to Halifax in a 3-1 victory at the Shea and we battered them. Then we have just played Cheltenham, over 4,000, first time this season, first time in a league game in this whole series, we've had over 4,000 fans at Broadhurst Park, and it was unbelievable. I mean, listen now, you can hear the fans, listen to them, but we now have to play Kettering, will the fans keep singing, will the fans keep singing, I don't know, I don't know, fingers crossed, I mean, let's go on to the squad. We've played 17 games now, a fair few have managed to get through them all. Top goal scorer, 14 games, 15 in total, 9 goals. Tony Gomez is the man this season, I'm so glad he stayed. Simpson and uh, Ryan Williams are in there as well. Assists, Simpson and Belbaggy, the two wingers, are doing awesome. Um, pass completion is this one, 87% Grayson still, he's bossing that. <laughs> If he doesn't play again, he's going to end with decent stats. Um, top average win, 7.98 for John O'Toole, who is now back fit. Um, do you know what? Do you know what he's going to play today? Um, Reese Williams, Ryan Williams was 7.96, 7.52 for Graham. <laughs> That's, might as well do it. Will he sign a new contract? Not at the minute. FA episode. Um, finances, we're sitting at 1.183. We need to get into the FA Cup. We need to keep pushing on because the board wouldn't allow us to go professional unless we stabilise ourselves in this division. So let's, for example, Wrexham, professional, Barnet, professional, Akronen, professional, Chester, professional. All the teams behind us are professional. It is a struggle because fitness-wise, we really are struggling at the minute. So let's go into the tactics. Um, make sure there's no one just come back from me. Right, um, Rory Hill is close. So we're we going with the... Um, the team you're probably familiar with Nizic, Mills, Brady, Dunn, Beasley, Reed, Belbaggy, Ellison, John O'Toole, Joe O'Toole, sorry, John Joe O'Toole, yeah, John Joe O'Toole, uh, Lee Simpson, and Tony Gomez. So let's get into the FA Cup here. We are up against Ketrin, we are away at Ketrin. Can we get the victory? We are odds on to win it. Four to seven. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, let's um, get this done. Did I make the change? I did. So as you see, we I pushed the the line up a bit, and I've told us to close down more now. Um, mainly because we weren't starting at that, and I was making that change halfway through every single time. And it, I just felt, you know, if we if we push them from the start, we I genuinely think we're good enough now to do that. And maybe as the fitness drops, I'll, I'll drop us deep and I'll take up the um, closing down off. Just to kind of make sure we don't die near the end of a game. But from the kickoff now, I really do want to start hitting teams hard. Because, well, we're top of the league. Um, we need to keep pushing on, don't we? Um, I mean, oh, top of the league after 17 games. And I don't think any of us could have predicted that. Um, especially after the way we come up, what a roller coaster to come up and then we've settled well in the conference. So we've started well here. Coming out to Bram, to Reed. Where's he going? In Ellison, spreads it, 
Bob, what the hell was that? Well, let's pretend that didn't just happen. Oh, just bash my chair into the um, table, into the, the desk. Good work, Paul. Good work. The players are looking up then. We are tackling superbly. Oh, good job, lads. Well, time he did something. Good defensively tackling wise. Bell baggy, don't shoot. Oh, he actually tucked it in. And we are one the up. I genuinely thought he was going to blaze it wide. Um, I'll take that. I'll take that all day long. Get in there. I mean, this victory will put us into the first round. Two years on the bounce, getting into the first round of the FA Cup is definitely something to look forward to. Ooh. Get some team talk. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Yeah, you do, Mint. Well done. You weren't as, you weren't as bad, but you weren't that bad, but you still improved, brilliant. We dominate, we actually tackle well, we actually play well. They come in. They sit down, they get ready for a beautiful team talk, and I say, well, you weren't that bad, but you can do better. Who are people? Come on, let's do this, let's do this. I've been on a YouTube binge as well this morning, I've watched some second yellow cards, some golden FM, some completely chars. My good friend James at the Football Manager Whiz Kids. I've been watching YouTube, YouTube, YouTube today. Um, and I'm getting quite far ahead. I've had to do it, guys, because over Christmas, having two kids, I'm going to be busy. So it's the 21st of December as I'm recording this. Um, and I'm, if I'm right, this goes out on the 20, 28th or 29th. Um, I can't remember. I'll have to obviously check when I select to upload it after I finish recording. But yeah, I've had to get a bit ahead again, like I did a couple of weeks ago, because of my family coming. So I hope you guys understand, and we are now 1-1 one, one for fix sake. I mean, well, do you know what, if it wasn't for the fact of fitness, a replay is not bad because um, I could do with the money. Um, in terms of I want to finish the season with over a million. Because in previous FMs, the million has always been the special mark when you ask to go professional. Um, so all these gate, gate receipts help. I'm just frustrated because... Where the goal is really well, Paul. Um, he obviously doesn't know where the goal is. Beasley with the ball over the top. Come on. It's a long ball. There's only a couple of seconds to go. He puts it into no man's land. And that's a full-time whistle. So the the live game today has ended with a one old run in the cup. Simply Paul is not good enough. You are shit. Um, over away next to the second bottom. Oh my days, we could actually pick up another victory in the league. Every time we win in the league, I'm still shocked. I'm still just looking, going, oh my god, we've actually won again. Um, oh, by the way, <laughs> I've got um, Triore on, on trial at the minute. Um, former Arsenal, Juventus, QPR, and Bowie. We'll leave that to Um I think he's going. Do I want him? I'm genuinely not sure. I don't think I need him. I just think it'd be cool to have someone so experienced. Um, okay, so we are going to come back for... <laughs> because we're doing so well in the in the league, I kind of want to want to kind of push this on and see if we can keep going and see how we can do. There's all brothers park games coming, which is nice. Um, da -da -da -da. How about we come back for the half? Uh, Having a Waterloo is going to be shite, isn't it? How about we come back from Macclesfield? I know it's not a massive jump. Um, actually, it's too close, isn't it? It's too close. Uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck! Help! Um, how about we come back for the... Should we go Dover, Geasley, Northampton, Macclesfield, Walken, Hannah Waterloo, Gator, um, Gainsborough. Um... I think we'll come back for the walking game. Or having a Waterlooville. I'll decide before I come back. So thanks for joining me guys. Um a nice mumble there, so I have no idea when I'm coming back, but I'll see you tomorrow for a episode against somebody.